There is just 12 days now, just 12 days to go until the coronation. We know the route, we know lots of details about the ceremony, and now, thanks to the government, we know to bring an umbrella if it rains. Yes, the government has released a guide telling us how to stay safe at the country's first coronation in 70 years. Their advice includes telling people to follow the directions given by stewards and the police, as if we wouldn't know, putting litter in recycling bins and other bins, as if we wouldn't know. And we're told we should wear warm, protective clothing or take an umbrella if it's cold or wet. Even if it's a sunny day, they're telling people to bring sunscreen, their words, I, like, I prefer sun cream because I'm British, uh, and a hat. And people should make sure that they wear appropriate footwear as well. Uh, it's the most remarkable document. I have it here. Um, it's, it's 23 pages long, where the government goes on and on stating the obvious. Uh, I'm delighted to be joined by Cameron Walker, our royal reporter in the studio, and I think we should make clear, it's not Buckingham Palace that have done this, this is the government. Absolutely, this is not Buckingham Palace at all, it's the Department of Culture, Media and Sports. They organise these big ceremonial occasions. They did something very, very similar for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee last year. I think some may argue this is perhaps the nanny state's gone mad. I will leave it to viewers to make up their own mind when they, re when they read the documents, which is on their website. Um, uh, there are some quite useful things on here, to mm. be honest. There's the map showing you the procession route, first of mm. all, but also where the nearest toilets are, which are hard to come by okay. when it's very crowded, uh, uh, you know, coffee stations and things like that as well. But you're right, they do say things like wear uh, raincoats if it, if it is raining, which perhaps some would argue would be a pretty, a pretty obvious. And in 1953, during the Queen's coronation, tipping it down with rain most of the day, mm. I Doubt very much, although I could be wrong. I'm, I could be standing. I don't think there was a department for culture, department. media, and sport back in the 1953 coronation 1953. year. Um, it, it is remarkable, though, to see. I, I think the only people. I mean, surely this is this is stating the obvious advice. I think very few people will sift through this 23-page document, and the kind of people that might go out of their way to read this document. Are, 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 in my view, probably the kind of people that might bring an umbrella if it's raining. Absolutely. I think most Brits are going to make their common, uh, make, uh, use their common sense even when they come down to London if they are going to view the coronation. We are expecting tens of thousands of people lining the procession route. It's a well-tested procession route. Many events have happened uh, before. And clearly, if people are going to want to come down to see the king and queen consorts come back from Buckingham Palace wearing the crowns, of course, the first time in 70 years we're mm. going to see something like that um, on the mall, I think perhaps they are going to be prepared for that that eventuality. And in Britain, we're used to bad weather, aren't we? So <laughs> perhaps they are going to bring, bring equipment for all eventualities. But of course, there are lots of tourists and it is the government's job and police and stewards to keep everybody safe. So that is perhaps why there is so much provision 10 days ahead of schedule. So mm. nothing can go wrong and nothing is led to chance. Yeah, I, I think you're, you're right. There are, there are, it's, it's not all nonsense. There is some useful stuff here. I think the map, the map is quite nice. Um, but, but really, I think they could have reduced this from 23 pages, probably down to about two if they got rid of this nonsense? Well, perhaps, yeah. There seems to be five or six useful bullet points of things to remember to bring and things not to remember to bring. I didn't know this, actually, so I'm mm. not sure if many viewers will either. You're not allowed to bring stools or folding chairs if you are going onto the procession route areas. Presumably, they take up too much space mm. and clearly they don't want it to be overcrowded or you to be trampled on if you're sat down um, on a chair. But clearly, you know, people in a couple of days prior, mm. we'll be camping out, we're very much expecting. Oh, we might uh, have intense. some clearances of chairs. That's exciting. Well, perhaps, <laughs> yes. But I think you're going to have to be very dedicated, aren't you, if you're going to be camping out on the mall before yeah. the coronation. But of course, people do, and people have yeah. done for years. Well, I know that you'll be certainly speaking to some of them. I'm looking forward to those conversations. I always love it when we have conversations with some of the more eccentric fans of the British monarchy. Um, Cameron Walker, thank you so much for bringing us the latest. Not all nonsense in this document, just quite a lot of nonsense.